Welcome back to A Simple Word, where we speak about the gospel for the coming Sunday in order to help you to prepare to, to listen well and receive this word. This Sunday, we have one of these very challenging readings because the Pharisees come to Jesus and they say, is it lawful for a husband to divorce his wife? And it's interesting because they make it very clear in the gospel they were testing him. They were testing him because Moses had permitted that a husband could write a bill of divorce and dismiss his wife. But Jesus had no hesitation in saying that he only did this because of the hardness of your hearts. That's why he, he wrote you that commandment. And, but then he goes back to what God intended. And this is what is so important, because on a Sunday like this, listening to something about divorce and remarriage and adultery, there's a temptation to be afraid of speaking about it, um, of offending people. And what's more important is to say to ourselves, but what is God saying to me? Why has God given me this word? Why on this Sunday am I hearing this gospel? Jesus refers back to what was intended from the beginning by God. Uh, we hear this in the first reading from Genesis. The Lord God said, it's not good for man to be alone. I'm going to make a suitable partner for him. And it's very interesting because uh, for a suitable partner for man, what would you think this would be? And so first there are all these animals and birds and uh, all sorts of options for him, but none of them were suitable. And so then God said, I'm going to then make something very special for him. And he took from the, from the side of Adam, he, he took a bone and he created woman and he brought her to the man. This is very important. Man and woman and their creation were created for each other. And uh, it's, it's really similar to what happens in, in the Trinity, in the sense that the Trinity has this, has this beautiful relationship with each other. They're, they're the same substance, but they're also distinct persons. Uh, in the man and the wife, and of course we know there also come children, are the substance that is the same, but they're, they're, they're unique persons, but they're called to be together. And so God brought this woman to the man who says, oh, at last, bone of my bones, flesh of my flesh. In other words, he recognizes this connection. And he calls her woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. And then in Genesis it says, a man will then leave his father and mother, cling to his wife. The two of them become one flesh. God is trying to help us understand that he created us that we would be one flesh, perfect partners. And so what happens when someone divorces and marries another, and Jesus says this very clearly, is that they're committing adultery. And he says they cannot do this, that, that no law can change this. Now, it's important to understand adultery <laughs> because when we use this word, it's very close to this word idolatry. Idolatry is when we look for another god. Adultery is when we look for someone else. And what we're being told by Jesus Christ is that we're called to look to the one who we love, the one who has been given to us, the only one. There's only one God. And when people marry, when they give themselves to each other, it's only to one. It's, it's a beautiful tradition in the church that people come together and they have this, this love that's unique. And it's really an imitation of what also happens in their relation, in, in God, his relationship with us, God and his relationship with the Trinity. So why is God giving you this gospel this week? It's, it's very important that you be open to listening to whatever it is God is trying to tell you about your relationship with Him, about your relationship with, with your spouse. The last sentence of today's gospel is uh, very important. 
And sometimes uh, we think uh, the church has to go so long until first Jesus talks about divorce and adultery. And then there's this little account about the children. People are bringing children to Jesus so he can bless them. And the disciples try to take them away. They rebuke the people. But Jesus sees this. He becomes indignant and he says, let the children come to me. Do not prevent them. The kingdom of God belongs to such as these. And then he says, whoever doesn't accept the kingdom of God like a child will not enter it. And this is the same for the word that's being given to us today. A very challenging word about divorce, about adultery. It's really meant to help us to look more clearly at the love we have as people who are married or people like myself who are in a particular vocation and to see that I'm being called to love in the same way that God himself loves. And that's very difficult to do. It's a very challenging gospel. It's very difficult to do. But if we take these last words of Jesus, let the gospel challenge us. Pray for the grace to listen as a child does. How does a child listen to God? Or... How does a child listen to his parent? A a child actually believes his parents. A child, uh, especially the young child, thinks that the the parent can do anything. And whatever your situation is, listen to this gospel and allow God himself to be the one who speaks to you, uh, to be the one who who teaches you. My prayer for you as you prepare as you go into this Sunday, as you prepare for Sunday, is that you would be able to listen to this gospel in a way that you never have before and to see that the hope, the the promise that God has given us the ability to love each other just as God loves us. So I hope that you enjoy the gospel this Sunday. And if you like this presentation, please click like. We look forward to seeing you again next week.